As Fallout 76 continually improves with new updates, many people are giving it a shot. Because of this, I've noticed a recent uptick in first-time players looking for tips to help them get started. I wanted to make a short video detailing some of my own suggestions and tips that I think are important for beginners. So here's five things you need to know when starting out in Fallout 76. Obtaining ammo. The two most effective ways to obtain ammo in 76 is through either crafting or farming. Crafting your own ammo is a reliable way to make sure you never run out of rounds when it counts. I highly recommend using the Ammo Smith and Super Duper perk cards when crafting. Two levels of Ammo Smith under Agility causes you to produce 80% more ammo when crafting. Three levels of Super Duper under Luck gives you a 30% chance to receive double the amount of ammo crafted. And at level 50, make sure to grab the legendary perk Ammo Factory. If you max out this perk, Ammo Factory grants 150% ammo production. All of these stacked together will let you craft huge sums of ammo at a time. You can also farm ammo through completing daily ops. Enemies in daily ops are guaranteed to drop ammo for the weapon that you currently have equipped. And completing the daily op itself also rewards you with a sum of ammo for your current weapon. Just remember to consider the difference in ammunition usage between automatic and non-automatic weapons. Automatic weapons will tear through your ammo supply. So until you have the means of either crafting or farming ammo, it may be best to stick with a non-automatic weapon. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button. You'll get access to great Fallout content regularly and your subscription really helps out the channel. Anyway, back to it. Mutations. Mutations are sort of like buffs for the player character. They can grant a number of useful abilities like increased jump height and faster movement speed. There's two different ways to obtain them. The first is by exposing yourself to high levels of rads. However, the mutations you gain are randomized. The second way is to obtain mutation serums. These serums allow you to gain specific mutations of your choosing, making it the preferred method for setting up your mutation list. You can purchase mutation serums and serum recipes from the Enclave. Just keep in mind that these recipes are pretty expensive, as the cheapest price for one of them is 17,500 caps. After obtaining the mutations you want, make sure to equip the Starched Jeans perk. With two levels of Starched Jeans under Luck, you will never mutate from Rads, and Radaways will never cure your mutations. This allows you to lock your mutation list, so you won't have to worry about losing them anymore. Some mutations I think are really good to get are Bird Bones, which reduces your fall speed and fall damage. Egg Head, which gives you 6 intelligence, and that's great for leveling. Healing Factor, which increases your health regeneration by 300%. Marsupial, which gives you increased jump height. And Speed Demon, which gives you increased reload speed and movement speed. To mitigate some of the negative effects from these mutations, you'll also want the perk Class Freak under Luck. Three levels of this will reduce the negative effects of your mutations by 75%. Factions. There are quite a number of factions in Fallout 76, and there's a lot to say about each of them. To keep it brief, I'll just point out some important points about the main factions. The Raiders and Settlers will give you access to the Wastelanders questline. This allows you to obtain Gold Bouillon, which is another form of in-game currency. I'll talk more about this in a second. You can increase your affinity with both the Raiders and the Settlers by completing daily quests. This can be a bit of a grind, but I highly recommend maxing out your reputation with them. The higher your affinity, the better items you can obtain from them. As I mentioned before, the Enclave sells mutation serums, but more importantly, completing their quest line will also unlock the ability to launch nukes. And completing the Brotherhood of Steel questline will give you full access to my preferred leveling spot. This location grants tons of XP and you can learn more about it in my quick leveling guide video for 76, which I'll link at the end of this. Treasury Notes and Gold Bouillon. Once you complete the Wastelanders questline, you'll now be able to obtain Treasury Notes. Treasury Notes are awarded for completing quests and events and you redeem them for bars of Gold Bouillon. 
With Bouillon, you can purchase some important and useful items from factions. The Raiders will sell you an ammo construction machine, which lets you craft free ammunition over time without using materials. You can also get the Chemist Backpack mod, which reduces the weight of all Kims by 90%. The Settlers sell you the Grocer's Backpack mod, which reduces the weight of all food and drink by 90%. You can also pick up farmable dirt tiles off of them as well. The Secret Service sells a lot of great items, but my favorites are the Secret Service Armor and the Jetpack. The Secret Service Armor is arguably the best in the game, boasting incredibly high defense, and the Jetpack allows you to fly around at the cost of AP, which is great for reaching high up locations. Before and after level 50. For the first 50 levels, think of this as your tutorial period. You should try out various weapons and play styles to get an idea of what you enjoy most. This could be getting up close with melee, sniping targets from a distance with vats, and blasting through enemies with power armor. Don't get too caught up in which special stats or perk cards are most important. Just experiment. You'll be able to re-roll your stats later to fix mistakes. After you've reached level 50, you can begin to optimize your build. At this point, you'll have access to all the perk cards as well as legendary perks. Realistically, you'll probably be closer to level 100 by the time you've obtained all of your desired perk cards for your build. And there you are. Five things you should know when starting out in Fallout 76. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you've got some of your own tips for beginners, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Also, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more great Fallout content. I'm Chris the Key. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Chris the Key. The Key. The Key. Weird.